We are so close. Think about it. We're so close. We're maybe a day or two away for retesting this 50-day moving average. You can see how important this is. Last time. Welcome to Access a Trader, the number one community for those who are committed to taking control of their trading in order to achieve success, profitability, and longevity. Thank you for joining us. Here's Dan Shapiro to help you find your edge, master your process, and own your future. Hey guys, good evening everybody. Welcome to uh, a Thursday's edition of uh, the Access of uh, nightly uh, wrap-up show. Uh, sorry, there was no video last night. Usually I take Thursdays off uh, to kind of reset my brain for Friday. Uh, but my daughter had a soccer game, um, a second round New York State. New Jersey series, New Jersey State Cup, which they won yesterday. So sorry about it. I missed that. Boy, there's a lot of things uh, that changed in the last uh, 24 hours. We'll get to that uh, in a second. Just a little bit of uh, business just to discuss with you guys. Uh, for all you guys who know and or maybe don't know, uh, this is the live uh, Twitter feed, right? This is where uh, we put the pivots uh, in the morning for all you guys who uh, can't make uh, the live webinar, uh, whether you have jobs, whatever the case may be, life gets in the way. So here's all the pivots and all that good stuff. What we did, uh, what we decided to do was kind of upgrade, right? Upgrade uh, the pivot feed and now allow uh, not only are you getting the pivots, now you are getting the audio of the live webinar. Uh, obviously, this is kind of a big deal because you hear me uh, literally, I'm speaking six, seven hours a day answering questions all day, you're hearing the squawk box, all the option flow and all that stuff. So it's a really, really cool upgrade for all you guys who are ever on the fence of getting into it, right? Or on, or already on it, obviously you're gonna wake up in the morning and have a, a little bit more uh, value uh, for your money. But the most important part is, again, we're always trying to add, uh, continue to add more value to develop uh, traders. So the reason why I'm bringing this up uh, tonight, tonight only, uh, we are keeping the, the old rate, I think it was like 79 bucks, uh, we're only going to keep it for one night. Tomorrow, uh, it's going to go to 149, I believe. I have to check with uh, with the guys. Uh, but if you are interested, tonight is the last night to kind of um, grandfather into the old price, and tomorrow uh, starts a new journey. So if you are interested, again, act tonight because uh, tomorrow will be a uh, completely different price. Uh, I think pretty good good value, uh, especially for the developing trader. So let's talk about the market. A lot of stuff. Uh, has completely gone different in the last 24 hours. Last time we talked, uh, we were rejected off the 20-day moving average, rejected again, rejected again, lost the five-day moving average, lost it again, confirmed lower. And yesterday, the bulls did a great, an absolutely great job of not only reclaiming the previous day's low, but they reclaimed the five-day moving average. And that was a very, very big deal because again, uh, the five-day moving average is the absolute shortest sentiment of what's gonna happen. It's not a green light for a full-blown bull stampede, but it is a very, very good sign that the bulls at least took control. And that's exactly what happened yesterday on the close. And what we saw today was this really good, aggressive, gang-busting rally, okay? Uh, if you look at the scoreboard, uh, very, very impressive. You have the Dow Jones up 500 points. You have the NASDAQ up you know, 250, almost 300 points. You have this really, really big stampede. But the most important part of this was technically, not only did we stay above the five-day moving average, we reclaimed back the 20-day that got rejected back-to-back -back areas. And now we are in a very, very good uh, spot to go back to the 50-day moving average. There's absolutely no supply between this and this right here. So we're talking about still another three and a half uh, four points available for the NASDAQ to run before we get to our next point of interest, which is the utmost important 50-day moving average. And, and, I, and I keep on reiterating this point. Nothing good, right? You ever, you ever hear that um, thing was one of these Chris Rock specials that says, if you're out at three, four o'clock in the morning, nothing good is ever going to happen to you, right? Same thing with, 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 the, with the bull market. The, the bull market can't function, okay, or the market can't function uh, any properly or can't have any good things happen to it unless it's reclaiming the 50-day moving average. And now we are so close. Think about it. We're so close. We're maybe a day or two away for retesting this 50-day moving average. You can see how important this is. Last time we hit the 50-day moving average, got rejected and rolled back over. So the bulls are not only need to confirm today's prices, but I think we need to confirm the 50-day moving average. And then and only then we start filling in this whole entire gap 
uh, to the upside, which is going to be very, very important. And, you know, today was, was a little bit odd in the morning, okay, just because when the market gapped up today, if it, the queues gapped up, they gapped initially right to this 363 level. And the reason, the reason why this was important, that was daily supply. That was the last time we got rejected on the 20-day moving average. So we, we kind of knew at least at the open a lot of names were going to be completely stuffed and get sold. And that's exactly what happened within the first you know, 15, 20 minutes. And to the market's credit, everything got really, really good, very, very strong. And it wasn't like the whole market exploded. Again, keep this in mind, a lot of names are still underneath supply. Just because the Q's reclaimed doesn't mean everything in under the sun that's included in the NASDAQ 100 is going to reclaim at the same time. But slowly but surely, we started seeing a lot of names wake up. Again, we'll get to the, uh, to the pivots in a second. But the most important part was we started seeing a lot of names not only reclaim the five and 10 day moving average, they started, they almost kind of started jumping the gun and reclaimed the 50 day. Like look at AMD, right? Look at AMD. Yesterday reclaimed 50 day on the close, right? This, this uh, aqua line today confirmed it. This is the highest close on AMD since uh, going back to September the 1st, right? It took out this 1185 area and now the stock is trading 1220s after the close. Look in the video. This was definitely the move of the day today. Again, look at the importance of the 50-day moving average. It took out this whole channel here, confirmed the 50-day moving average. They started coming in very, very aggressively for uh, the October 29 expiration, uh, 225 and 230 calls. Big move here, confirmed this whole 13, you know, 13, uh, 1350, 14 level. And now this thing looks like a 224 moonshot if the market continues to be strong. Very, very aggressive there as well. Look at Google, right? Another name completely reclaimed the 50 day moving average today, took out this whole channel here. You started seeing weekly 2850 calls coming in. If you look at the upper channel, if the market continues to rally tomorrow, you could see your pot of gold going all the way up to this 2866 level as well. Tesla continues to be an, an absolute beast, but it's not the absolute beast we've kind of known for the last several years, right? It breaks out $15, $20, and the next day it doesn't go up another $15, $20, you know, it goes up another four, goes up another five. And that's kind of what it's been doing now for the last three days. It took out uh, this 807 level, and it's almost in a weird way grinding higher. And now that it's pretty much closed at the highest formation of this whole cycle, it has one day left, right? One day left. And if Tesla could just get above uh, the, the, Jan the February 2021 highs, well, look at this, right, guys? It stopped there perfectly today. If it could just get above the, uh, the February 2021 highs, then look, man, we have, we have a moonshot possibility uh, to 900. We're still seeing super aggressive call buyers uh, coming into the name for the 870s, for the 890 calls, all near-term expiration with six and seven-figure bets. So the market looks really, really good. And now our job is to wait for other names to kind of, you know, being pulled up at the same time. And I think if we can get even... Um, even kind of a light open tomorrow, you know, any type of weakness, names like Google, names like AMD, names like NVIDIA, names like Tesla, you have to buy them into rising 60 minute support because if everything gets pulled up, and these are the strongest names coming out of 50 minute channels, uh, 50 day channels. If they get confirmed, then everything else is going to get pulled up as well. So there's a lot of good names uh, on tap for tomorrow. The most important thing is just don't jump the gun, right? Don't jump the gun. Don't anticipate. And the most important part is wait for these channels to confirm properly. Again, it's not a race. Remember, when indexes start to reclaim, okay, you know, not everything goes up, right? You need one by one by one. There's a lot of names still underneath supply, right? Amazon, not really participating. Apple, as strong as it appeared to be, it's still way underneath supply, right? Facebook, still way underneath supply. Names that I do like, though, that are still you know, starting to come out of supply. Look at Amberella, right? Look at Amberella, beautiful looking chart. Uh, look at a name like, let me give you guys some names that are kind of shaping up here. Look at DoorDash, right? Look at DoorDash, got above the channel today, stopped at the linear regression line. If this thing can wake up and confirm, I mean, look how much room you have. You have room all the way back uh, to the top of the channel here. It looks really, really good. Snapchat 
had some incredibly aggressive call buying cut today, very, very aggressively. Uh, they were coming for uh, the, the 79 and the 80 calls. I, you know, I like this channel here. It's been rejected here several times. If it confirms, maybe this thing can wake up as well. Uh, Square, look at Square. Maybe it doesn't confirm tomorrow, but look how close this thing is confirming this whole channel here. And if it does, you can have a really, really aggressive move here, especially uh, Square has uh, exposure to the whole Bitcoin thing. So there is definitely a catalyst. But I'm telling you, if everything starts getting pulled up and we start confirming today's prices, you're going to have a day two move uh, into possibility the 50 day moving average uh, on the queue. So let's talk about some pivots today. Uh, again, some really, really aggressive moves. Uh, again, this is where Tesla broke out the 805, 807 levels potential swing uh, stock traded today into the 820s level why is this 821 important again we just talked about it it's the february 2001 highs this channel gets confirmed guys this thing is going to absolutely stretch so definitely definitely keep an eye tomorrow uh, on uh tesla nvidia this is a big one really really big move here 213.50 needs to build potential swing over anything over literally over anything over 213 uh would reclaim the 50-day moving average and the video went absolutely nuts stalled out a little bit today off that 13 and a half 14 level but when this thing finally got going man look at this whole channel here right this whole 1350 14 dollar channels it just really really started grinding up very very aggressively uh trading in the 18s here after hours again you can see the potential uh, where the stock can go, especially if there's more uh, aggressive call buyers. Uh, Roku didn't do anything. It opened up basically at 234 and died the rest of the day. GameStop did the same thing. Snow had a really, really nice move. Uh, a little too thin for me. Not really my thing, but 231.50, uh, 232 needs to build. Here was Snow. Look at this first move here on Snow. Uh, took out this whole, uh, took out this whole 231 and a half. 232 channel went all the way up to 338 really really strong move on uh snow right uh amd again really really nice move on amd they came for the 12 and the 13 weeklies it stopped perfectly at the pre-market highs of 1117 needs to build over that area uh amd right now is trading in the 12s uh after hours really really nice move here's the 11 uh, here's the 1117 area we talked about. It took that out and really, really nice move here. Uh, pretty much trading at session highs uh, after the close in the 12, 1220s. Nice move there. Uh, XPEV, not a big move, only went up like 20 cents. Airbnb, I'm, I'm very surprised. It, it never confirmed. I'm very, very surprised, especially had such a nice looking chart. Uh, Square, I still like, never got, never got there as well. Again, 238 supply, and that was exactly the highs. Uh, NVIDIA, first supply to 1440s, it traded all the way up to uh, 38 uh, Qs. Again, here's the macro channel, uh, 365.70 is a very bullish signal for tomorrow. And this is why, right? Right, so here's the channel right here, uh, 365.70, it closed uh, at the highs, a dollar and change higher. So again, you can see there's about $3 uh, potentially left in this move. Uh, so nice move there on the Qs. Uh, MMSI, nothing there yet. Uh, AMD pushing 12s. Uh, here comes 1750s. They're coming for the 1750s. They started coming for the for the 20, uh, 225s and the 230s on the video. Google, beautiful, beautiful move uh, on Google. Um, let's see here. Uh, Google, yeah. So uh, 2817 needs to build. They, they were coming in for the 2840 and the 2850 calls. Uh, here is Google, right? It took out the 2815 level and closed about 10, 12 bucks higher uh, as well. Looks really, really good uh, for tomorrow. So we're set up for tomorrow, guys. We're definitely set up for tomorrow. Uh, there's a lot of names potentially could wake up for tomorrow. Now our job is to kind of wait for them, you know, okay, wait for them to uh, or organically confirm and trade one by one uh, to make sure everything is uh, playing out the right way. So again, guys, if all you guys who want to join us, uh, on the Twitter feed. Again, really, really cool feature. The audio uh, of the webinar is now included. Today is the last day to kind of take advantage to lock in the rate. And then tomorrow it starts again uh, brand new. Guys, God bless. Have a great night and God's help. I'll see you all tomorrow.